Hey everybody, um, what I wanted to go over today is this motor. This is the motor that we were hooning around with the uh, infraction and it suddenly stopped working. Uh, the motor never overheated. The temperature was, I mean, it was, it was hot to the touch, but it wasn't anything excessive. We were a little bit too hard on the throttle. My son was the one that was driving it and, and he was hard on the throttle. So the motor could have got hot internally and burned out without actually burning the coils. So the way these phases work is all three phases are wound up around uh, the stator and at one spot they're all soldered together into basically one bundle of wires. That's kind of the best way that I can explain it. Right now doing a continuity check on this, between all three phases we should have a very very low resistance zero ohms 0 0.2 something like that and on this motor the phases are open so doing a continuity check on this motor you want to go from phase to phase to phase so all the phases should be 0.2 so we go here we got open we go here we got open we go here we have open so all three phases are open inside this motor. What we're gonna do is open up this motor and see if we can find what the problem is and possibly actually fix it. To open this motor, we have Allen screws here, here, and here. We do not need to remove the front ones. We only need to remove the back to remove the back plate. From there, we will be able to actually pull the rotor out through the back and we will see the stator wirings around the side. So after you removed all of the screws along the side of the uh, the back plate, you should be able to just pull the uh, pull the back plate right off. Ah, uh, there you go. All right. So when you pull off the back plate, you have your rotor in the middle, which you will need pliers to pull out. And don't lose a little. There's a little brass bushing there. These are all of your windings. Your windings are wound. In, in three different phases around the motor and they all bundle up inside here. Inside that spot right there is where they all connect together and they all solder together in one bundle. This spot right here is very crunchy, so this looks like it really badly overheated. So either all three phases are open in there or just one phase disconnected and that's open. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, remove it. So, yeah, that is very crunchy. But you can see that all three phases, yeah, all three phases over here <laughs> are not soldered together. You see, you guys see that? So what I'm gonna do is get my soldering iron, solder all three phases back together. And after I solder them back together, I'm going to um, put some heat shrink over it. Uh, to make sure that, that they never touch up against the edge or anything like that and nothing gets shorted out. And at that point, once they're connected, we will do another continuity test. And at that point it should pass and I'll hook it up to my ESC and we'll try to run the motor. Be careful setting that magnet down. It's a very powerful magnet. It'll catch any dust, any metal particles, any washers or screws, it will catch to it. And if you end up putting it back in there with anything on, this, on the rotor, it's gonna end up messing everything up inside. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, solder that back together. Anything else in there? Oh, there's a little ball of solder in there. A little ball of solder. Everything else looks good inside and the windings themselves, they don't really look overheated. So I think once we fix this, it should be good to go. You wanna get all three bundles of the wires really hot to make sure that they stick together very well. Um, my suspicions are that when these things are built by, by Spectrum that, that they're not soldered really good. This is actually not the first one 
that I've seen do this. And this will definitely not be the last one that will have to be fixed in this manner. So that's why I'm sharing this video with you guys. I think it will be very helpful to you uh, to get your motors back up and running because, you know, this motor would usually go right in the garbage, but it's, you know, it's not that bad. It could be fixed. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but all three bundles are soldered together very well. So now that we got them all soldered together and you verify that there's a good amount of solder all around it and it is soldered well and secured, uh, we got to protect this whole piece from shorting out anything else. So uh, what we're going to do is grab this heat shrink. This, this is a quarter inch uh, heat shrink. And we're going to put the quarter inch heat shrink right over the whole bundle of wires right there. And we're going to use either a lighter or the soldering iron itself or a heat gun if you have it to shrink it down over it very well. Alright, so after we put the heat shrink on there, just push it out of the way. Make sure it's like off into the corner and it does not interfere with the rotor and at this point the repair is done uh, what we're going to do to verify before we put everything back together is we're going to check continuity again on just the windings so uh, put your meter back on ohms and let's do a continuity check on it again so we got point, point 0.16 we got 0.16, and then the last ones, we should have 0.16. We have 0.1716. So the windings are now reading good. Nothing is overheated. Uh, the windings where they're soldered together are protected. We should be able to put this motor back together and go ahead and run it. So before you put your rotor back in the motor, uh, look over it and just verify that there's no metal particles on it uh no washers screws or anything stuck to the rotor because like i said before if there's something stuck to the side of this and you put it together and it's in the motor when it runs it will destroy the whole thing so um put it back in comes out the front now the back has a little brass bushing that goes on first followed by a metal spring washer that goes on second and then your rear cap which goes on last so now that it's in there spin it around make sure there's no resistance and nothing feels like it's binding which that spins good now start putting all of your screws that you took out back into it So you can already tell it's working just by the sounds that it's making, um, but we'll go ahead and spin it. Alright, so that's it. We have the motor put back together. We verified continuity. We resoldered the windings. Um, we tested it. It runs, and that's it. So, you know, very easy fix for a very common problem. So, thank you for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next video.